Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I got an A star in A level chemistry this year. Oh my god! Wow! I'll put my marks somewhere on the screen. I was on OCR, but I think my tips will be applicable to any exam board. So let's start with the resources that I used. The main resource I used to memorise information was a website called ChemRevise. ChemRevise is a website which has loads of notes on everything you need to know for your A-level chemistry. Um, and I used mainly blurting to just memorise all of this information. I didn't create many notes outside of class just because I found that it was a waste of time and just using these pre-written notes was good enough. The next main resource I used was YouTube. So the main YouTuber that I watched was Macam Guy. He has really, really, really good chemistry videos for OCR chemistry, but chemistry is chemistry and anyone can use his videos. He has loads of past paper walkthroughs um, past paper questions, questions, just loads of questions, so it's really, really good for practice. He also has some really good um, quick revision videos, so you'll be able to quickly revise topics in a couple minutes on his channel, so that's really, really good. I've also heard that Allery Chemistry is really good. I didn't personally use his videos much, but that is also a really good resource that you could use. Finally, the biggest resource that I used was past papers. Past papers are essential for chemistry revision. A lot of people think that they need to focus on memorizing the content, but actually chemistry requires loads of practice. So even if you know all of the content, you need to focus your revision on actually doing past papers and not just memorizing content. Chemistry questions are super repetitive and by doing more past papers, you'll know which topics give you the most amount of marks and you can then focus your revision on those topics. Something else that I did was I created a timetable for when I was going to do all of these past papers. This meant that I could get through all of my papers without peaking too early. You don't want to burn out by the time it gets to your exams. So now I'm going to talk about some tips. It's really important to get really good and really quick at the multiple choice questions. This will save you so much time and it's a really good way to get yourself some easy marks. However, it's also really important to be super careful in the multiple choice questions. Exam boards really like to trick out students in multiple choice questions because they are so short and really easy to skim over or read incorrectly. So it's really good to get quick and accurate with the multiple choice questions. Second thing is know your calculations. Know your calculations inside out, back to front, upside down, everything. Because Calculations can be a really, 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 really easy way to get loads and loads of marks, especially in physical chemistry. Um, in organic chemistry, it's also really important to know your mechanisms. Know them. Calculations and mechanisms are really, really easy ways to get loads of marks. Something that I also used to memorize uh, mechanisms and also synthetic pathways was um, the OCR, I don't actually know what they're called. I'll put a picture, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but basically, OCR provided these mind maps with all of the synthetic pathways that we needed to know. Each pathway would have the reactants uh, missing and you'd have to fill them out. This really helped with the two-way synthesis questions, but also just helped me know my mechanisms really, really well. Finally, it's really easy to make silly mistakes in chemistry. Super, super easy. I made them all the time. A way to combat this is to make a list, a word document, anything you want, with all of the common mistakes that you make. When it gets to your mock exams, real exams, read this, 
in the coming days to your exams and then you'll just be really aware not to make those mistakes when it gets to your real exam and this will just prevent you making silly mistakes. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found these tips useful and best of luck to anyone doing A-level chemistry because it's really hard but it's super rewarding and once you understand it it's just so satisfying and it feels really great. Anyways, bye guys!